Hi guys, uh, we're in Scotland today, uh, Trump Aberdeen, so um, pretty unique venue. Um, lucky enough to be here with Cleveland Golf and they've got a really big launch coming up uh, in 2016. It's the new wedge, RTX 3. Um, so they don't launch wedges very often, they launch about every two years, so this is a big deal. Um, we're going to learn a little bit about the technology uh, involved. They've got some exciting new features, um, some real big differences compared to their previous model that they really think will benefit your game. So we're going to get out on the range today at Trump. Um, we've also got the tour van behind us, you can see. Um, so we're going to get on the range, hit some of the product, go through a fitting with one of their tour fitters and then we're going to get on the tour van. I'm actually going to see them made. So super excited about that and hopefully we're going to end up with a set that really suits me can go in the bag. So let's get to it uh, and get hitting balls. Right. Are you having a good day? Are you having a good day? I'm having a fantastic day. Fantastic. I can't wait to get into the truck. Uh -huh. Good stuff, getting right. the warm. Exciting. So guys, we've just uh, gone on the range here at Trump. Uh, I've been hitting some of the new RTX 3 wedges from Cleveland. Um, first impressions, really enjoyed them. There's some new tech in there that I need to tell you about uh, before I go off and have a proper fitting and we go and build some in the truck. So it's got some uh, face balance technology. Now this is a new technology. What they've done is they've noticed that through loads and loads of testing uh, back in California at the home, that when you uh, hit wedges, and this is tour players through to higher handicappers, you hit them tend to be out the toe a little bit more than the heel. Now because of the amount of weight in a hosel, all the central gravity is towards the hosel and towards the heel of the club. So that's no good. If you're hitting it out the toe, that's where you want the central gravity to be. So what they've done is they've taken quite a bit of weight out of the hosel, um, made it a bit shorter, created a cavity in there, they've actually taken 9 grams, shifted it over towards the middle of the club. Now this makes a big, big difference towards the centre of gravity. So when you're hitting the ball, you've got some weight behind it in there, centre of gravity behind it, you're getting more ball speed and more importantly with a wedge, a much tighter shot pattern. Um, there's also a new uh, V-Sole system, uh, better turf interaction, so basically you're not taking as much turf, not digging as much, you're not losing club head speed. And then additionally they've got a new face design as well. So actually when they create the grooves on the wedge, they kind of cut them out, fill them with plastic, then sandblast them. As far as they're aware, no other company does this, and what it does when they fill, the, fill them with plastic before sandblasting, it creates a sharper groove and they don't lose that kind of finish straight off the milling. So that makes the, a big difference to the amount of spin they create. So we're going to go out there now, get fitted, see how we get on and see if it makes a big difference. So guys, uh, just been through a clean wedge fitting, just getting out of the wind here so you can hear what I'm saying. Um, it's pretty breezy uh, on the coastline here in Scotland. Um, went through the Cleveland wedge fitting for the RTX 3, um, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, noticeable the technology actually, I, I hit a few shots with my previous wedges, hit a load of shots with the new wedges. The centre of gravity I felt made a real difference to the, the amount of ball speed I was getting. Uh, we had it on launch monitor and you could see that. Uh, and I felt that as I was hitting better shots and getting ball speed, my confidence was growing with the wedges. So 
Uh, really enjoyed the process. We got on a computer program as well, which looked at angles of attack, uh, how the club was uh, interacting with the turf and uh, got the right bounce for me and the right lie angle. So um, super enjoyable, uh, impressive wedge, liked it a lot. We're going to go now to the tour workshop, uh, get in there, uh, see them being built. We're very lucky that we've got some raw, raw finishes, uh, a tour finish. They'll be available in 2017, but we've been lucky enough to get some early. So uh, we're going to build them now and hopefully stick them in the bag and get on the course with them. Hi guys, um, it's been a few weeks since we were at the Trump launch uh, for the Cleveland RTX 3 wedge, uh, their new wedge for 2016-2017 really. Um, put them in the bag, uh, really enjoyed playing them, had quite a lot of chipping and pitching sessions with them, really tried them out, tried them in a lot of conditions as well, tried them on some firm links courses, I played some parkland courses as well, um, and they worked well in all conditions to be honest. I mean, it's noticeable that we went through a fitting, actually got fitted uh, for my local course conditions which is built on clay, quite soft, um, so maybe on the hard stuff I've struggled a little bit with the, with the bounces but uh, certainly year round at my home course that's really going to pay dividends having that bit of extra bounce in there, uh, so that's worked, uh, that will work well no doubt. Now there's been quite a lot of tech improvements with Cleveland, they've uh, become a specialist wedge company as I mentioned earlier and uh, they've really got to work hard on the tech and uh, they've done that with these, they, uh, they put some special grooves in, uh, improved on what they had before really an evolution, a um, bit of extra milling. I've noticed the amount of spin I'm getting on the wedges. Obviously they're new, so I'm gonna get quite a bit of spin, but um, it's been really noticeable how much uh, I'm actually zipping the ball and getting a lot of control around the green. So I've enjoyed that a lot. The other thing they did is they took the weight out of the uh, hosel, uh, actually made the hosel a bit shorter, moved it towards the center of the club. And, and that's been noticeable. That was all to create a, a better consistency, a bit of extra ball speed off the face. And I've noticed that I'm hitting a lot of shots pin high, uh, maybe a bit more control. Um, so I'd say that's worked for me well as well. So all in all, uh, impressed with the wedges, uh, impressed with what they've done. They've got three finishes, a satin, a black and a tour raw finish. We were lucky enough up at Trump to be given the tour raw finish. Um, it was kind of a goldy colour when we got it, but now you can see three weeks on, um, I haven't played in the rain too much, but they've gone kind of a rusty colour, uh, which I love. I think they look awesome. So um, thumbs up for those. Uh, guys, uh, if you're interested in getting these, get down to your local pro shop. Ask them about them, ask PGA Pro about them or go on the stocks locator. Uh, I'm sure that will point you in the right direction. Um, worth giving them a go. It's a great head shape, lovely wedge. Um, super impressed with these. So comment below if you're excited about these or you're thinking of putting them in the bag or you've got them already. We'd love to know your thoughts on them. Um, and we'll see you next time.